What is going on guys? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be playing a mobile game named RoboSide. It's actually a pretty fun mobile game, but roughly a week ago or so I hosted a competition offering you guys the opportunity to win a Samsung tablet. And towards the end of this video I will be announcing the winner of this competition. But first what I thought I would do is have a go at the competition myself to see how I performed. Okay, so the aim of the game is to progress as far as possible into the warp zone and collect as many warp shards as possible, but with only three lives. So let's go ahead and jump straight into things by pressing start, and let's go ahead and start the attack. Okay, so I've actually played this level before, and personally I found it very, very difficult. I felt the best tactic to go with to begin with is to just let the robots come to me, let them surround me, and then move forward. Basically, I can't let them destroy my base. If they destroy my base, I lose a life, and these lives are very, very precious. Now, at the bottom, as you guys can see, I do have some titans. I can call these in at any time, but I only get to use these once throughout the three lives which I have. So I'm going to save those for later levels, but they are very, very useful allies, so I will call those in later as I progress through these levels. Hopefully, I can go quite far. Uh, I'm not actually too sure what the high score is yet out of you guys, but uh, I will take a look later and, of course, announce the giveaway very, very shortly. So as you guys can see, there's a big robot right now in the map. This is one of the Titans. I don't actually have that one. It's a lower level to, than the one I've actually got on the bottom right-hand corner. But uh, it's actually very, very powerful and extremely annoying. But uh, I'm just trying to hold off these red robots. They don't destroy my base from this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack that big Titan so it doesn't take out too many of my robots. Now, according to the level right at the top, I'm already further, or more likely to win, I should say, than the red team. I think that's because I've got more robots, but this can change very, very quickly. I have to be very, very careful they don't kill me whatsoever. I'm very tempted to call in a Titan, although saying that there's not too many robots, so I should be okay. And I've handled this level quite well. Usually, uh, I've sometimes loaded this level up, and the red robots have taken out my base within 10 seconds. That's just how quick things can go. So... This tactic here where I've started off just surrounding my base, let the robots come to me, and then I kill them and just surround them basically, seems to be the best tactic. And I can see there's some red robots coming from the right hand side. Let's make sure they don't come around, surround my base and take that out. And uh, you may have saw, seen like a few moments ago as well, there were some rockets that took off. Basically, from my understanding, if you take those out, uh, you can get some additional shards and stars and stuff like that. But uh, when playing the warp zone, it's very, very difficult to take those out uh, and basically have the, the red robot stay away from your base and not destroy it. So I'm not really too sure how you're even supposed to do that uh, without being completely uh, defeated by the red robots. Eventually, when I've had some more practice on this, I might find a way of doing it and allowing myself to progress further. But right now, I'm going to have to just play it very, very basic. Uh, one of the main issues I have found with this game, however, is you can't separate your troops. You can see right now all my troops are pretty much together. I can't just direct them into two different locations. They all go together unless they're already battling some of the robots, then they will separate slightly. But that's one very annoying thing about this. You can see right now there are some robots on the left-hand side, some robots on the right-hand side, and it's very, very difficult to uh, stop them uh, from, you know, taking your base or, or dividing up, because they can divide up, but you can't, basically. That's what I was trying to say. It's actually taking a while to take uh, these red robots out, only because I can't walk across the mountains. I have to walk around, and it only takes two or three of those red ro robots to stop my entire army from traveling around. Look at all these troops right now. I've got all collected up that aren't doing anything. The most annoying thing ever, and I can see these robots down here are trying to take out my base from the side. But uh, let me see if I can send up some more robots right now uh, to take out their bases. Because obviously the longer I wait, the more of their robots spawn in and the longer this is going to take. But uh, hopefully now in the next 60 seconds or so, we're going to have that base taken down. It only takes like two or three robots or so to take a robot out, uh, take a base out sorry, in just a few seconds. So let's progress around there. I can see my robots down here right now are struggling to take out uh, these red ones. But there we go. I've destroyed both their bases. All I have to do now is take out those robots. And I have completed the first level without losing any lives, which, trust me, has been very, very difficult. There we go, I have completed the first level, and I have collected, ooh, no warp shards, okay. So let's move on to the next level, actually yeah, I've got, is that one warp shard I've collected? Okay, so let's progress now on to the next level, and 
waiting for the map to load. This one's called Uplands. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the attack. So again, we've got two bases. I'm going to just stay down here temporarily and uh, let the robots come to me. I'm going to move forward. Let me just place down this one right by here. I've not actually played this uh, map yet. The maps do change every now and again while you're playing this mode. So uh, this is completely new to me, but hopefully it's not going to be too difficult. Again, according to the marker in the top of the screen, supposedly I'm just winning. I'm not really too sure how. And what that robot there has just done is convert some of my robots into uh, some of the red ones. I've actually got one of those. You can see at the bottom of the screen, one of my titans is uh, one of those. I've got some more red robots coming in. Hopefully I can hold them off. I don't want to even touch my base because, like I said, it only takes two or three of the red robots or, or my own robots to take a base out. So I have to be very, very careful right now. They're coming down to surround my base. So let me go ahead and take those out before I lose my base and life, of course. But uh, hopefully I can see, I can go pretty far with this, sorry, uh, with this uh, warp zone. Uh, so far, I think my furthest level was something like three or four, which doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, it's very, very difficult. You can actually just play the standard mode of RoboSide, which I have found much, much easier, and you do pretty much get an infinite amount of Titans. Uh, but unfortunately, with the Warp Zone, you only get one to use uh, throughout your entire three levels, which... Uh, can be very, very difficult, especially when the enemy get as many as they want each time you respawn. Uh, right now, I've got considerably more allies, uh, or robots, I should say, than they do, uh, but you can see they've just had some spawn in. Let me walk up there now, see if I can take out some of these, uh, go to one of the bases and take it out. Like I said, the main issue with this, I have found, is there is no way to divide your troops, so I could send maybe 50% to one base and leave 50% to defend my own, but maybe in future versions of RoboSide, uh, they will do that. It is a fairly new game, by the way, it's pretty cool, and if you guys uh, want to try this game out for yourselves, you can. And it's free to download, and there's a link in the description. Just go ahead and click that on your mobile device, download the app, and try it out for yourselves. But uh, it's as simple as that. It's a really fun app. It may not look like it to you guys, but it's one of those ones which, when you start playing, it does become very, very addictive. So I would definitely recommend trying it out. But uh, hopefully now I can win this level. Let me try and send some of the... Uh, robots on my team up to this base and uh, make some progress because right now uh, I'm just stuck in this corner next to my base not really doing anything even though I've still got more robots than that team there we go we've taken out one of the bases I'm really afraid to just progress too far though I don't want to lose my my ground and lose my base but uh, just send a few robots up to their base now hopefully we can take that out there we go I've taken out pretty much all their troops there are one or two left now so let me just very quickly progress up there and take out their base Unfortunately, they've just spawned some more in, but it seems like they're only spawning in about 15 at a time, so not uh, too many allies, oh sorry, not too many people to really worry about. And there we go, we have taken out uh, that base too. So we've just done two levels, I should have uh, two warp shards now. Uh, after doing that and I haven't lost any lives yet, which is uh, pretty good. Usually I've lost at least one, usually on the first level because it's quite difficult. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this next map. Uh, this one's called Breaker Run and it's going to load any second now. Okay, so I, as you can see, I've got an X over one of my Titans. I've already used one, unfortunately. So this is going to be very, very difficult now to... Okay, oh damn. So we've got two bases right by here, side by side, and there are these sort of metal stones directing the robots towards us. So let me go ahead and place one of my robots by there. So I was talking about this one before. I was completely wrong. I didn't think that you could actually spawn in any of these robots once they've been destroyed. As it turns out, basically you get one of each. So the one which I used last level, I can't spawn in now, but I can choose between other robots which I've already unlocked. Unfortunately, I've only got a few robots unlocked. I think it's maybe three or four. So I haven't got many to choose from. But uh, I've just lost my robot there. And you can see there are the robots now destroying my base. Please take out these robots before they destroy my base. It's looking very unlikely. And unfortunately, no, I have just lost a life. Okay, so I've got two more lives left. Let's go ahead and try this again. Okay, so attempt to... Uh, let me try and move my robots forward a little bit more so they don't just surround me up front. Uh, hopefully these stones by here are going to stop the robots from coming around and taking me out from behind. There's already a few by here that are coming around the back. Let me go ahead and just try and place uh, this one right by here to stop some of the robots from... Oh, 
Let me check out my base already. <laughs> so I actually just saw that like two or three of those red robots can take out the base so, so quickly. So I need to be much, much quicker and try and change up my game plan if I'm going to survive this one. I've got one more life left to use. Hopefully I can get further than just level three. It's a pretty pathetic attempt and that is, as far as I'm aware of, my highest score. So let me go ahead and try this one more time. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can survive a little bit longer than then. I'm going to try and call in one of the other robots, this one right by here, which changes their robots uh, for mine. I can see there's a few by here already. No, no, please don't try and kill me. Let me try and take out these red robots before they can do that. So there we go. I've already uh, taken the lead back and hopefully I can survive this one now uh, without losing any more lives. But things can change very, very quickly. So I do have to be very, very careful what I do. And what I can do now is actually change some of these red robots for the silver ones. See if I can do any of those. And there we go. I think maybe five or six actually change. I think you can get up to 20 depending on what upgrades you have on the Titans. I can see these red robots right by here trying to take my base out. But there we go. We've taken one of the bases out. Let me see if I can move up there very, very quickly without the red robots progressing towards mine. Uh, you can see I've lost a bit of health, maybe 75% on my base, but hopefully I can hold them off enough to take their base out. There we go. Now I just take out a few of these robots and I should win. There we go, I've done it. So I've completed level three. Let's move on to the next level. And uh, now I've got the option for, oh, I've got six warp shards in total. Okay, so the next one will progress to 10 warp shards. Uh, let's continue on and let's see what the uh, next one is called. Okay, so it's called factory four. I need to most likely replace my robot by here. Uh, I don't have any to choose from. Okay, so hopefully I can just play it without there we go. So yes, uh, unfortunately I've only got one robot to choose from. If I had more unlocked, then I would be able to choose one of those and call them in. But like I said, I've only got three or four unlocked, so I don't have that option. Let me go ahead and just call in this Titan right by there. So it will convert some of the robots for me. Oh, okay. So you can see there, I didn't have much health left on the Titan. It's because, like I said, you only get one of each. And if they still have health left from the previous round, you can call them back in on this one. It's not looking very likely right now. I'm about to lose my base. And unfortunately, I have. Well, there we go. So I was able to get a total of... Ooh, let me go back. Oh, it was I think it was six warp shards I got then. Or was it eight warp shards? It wasn't a very good attempt, to be honest. But there we go, that was my attempt at the competition of progressing as far as possible into the warp zone and collecting as many warp shards as possible. But as it turns out, my attempt at this competition was not only bad, but it was dreadful. The winner of the competition obtained 28 warp shards. The winner is Christopher, who sent me a screenshot of his attempt. As you guys can see, he had 28 warp shards and still had a life left. So well done to Christopher for winning the competition. He has now won himself a brand new Samsung tablet, but thank you to everybody who took part and competed in this competition. I also want to say a big thank you to RoboSide who hosted this competition. Without them, this wouldn't have been possible. But if you guys want to go ahead and try RoboSide out for yourselves, you can of course do so. There is a link in the description where you can go ahead and download RoboSide for free. It's available both on Android and iOS devices. So just go ahead and click that link on your mobile device. It'll take you across to the marketplace so you can go ahead and download it and play it for yourself. Well, there we go, guys. That is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you could take a few seconds out of the click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also, be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know your thoughts and feelings about RoboSide. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you do. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.